we proudly present to you today another Goucher degree, Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa. By the authority of the State of Maryland, vested in the trustees of Goucher College, and by them delegated to me, I confer on Laura Amy Schlitz the degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. We'll be pleased now to hear from Laura Schlitz. This is a surprise and a delight. I have been enjoined to be brief, and I am going to be cheerful. Because I think those speeches where you list all of the most tragic and complex problems of the world, and then send the graduating class out to solve them, while everybody who's over 23 goes home to take a nap, <laughs> that's not fair. Being at Goucher reminds me not of my own graduation, but of coming here 40 years ago. I detested my high school. The standards there were not exacting, and I coasted. And before I came to Goucher, everybody said, Goucher's a good school, and you're not going to be able to coast anymore. And there was this kind of, oh, you're going into a different place where you may be baffled and defeated and frustrated and, God forbid, humbled. And I came to Goucher, and it was a surprise and a delight. I had good teachers, and they didn't see the process of education as being like some kind of rigid jigsaw puzzle where there was only one place for each finite piece. It was more like a scroll that they were delighted to unfold for me. I remember Daniel Abrams, the music teacher, who turned out all the lights in the lecture hall and played us Tristan and Isolde. And when we staggered back into the light, we were dumbfounded by the eroticism of this music. I remember George Brendan Dow, who was the theater professor and who began every year by impersonating primitive man in a well-lit suit, in a three, in a three piece suit in a well-lit room he would stamp his feet and dance around the room. He was 60, emitting howls and grunts. And we didn't dare to look at each other because we knew if we did, we would shriek with laughter. But at, as much as we were appalled, we were impressed because of his sheer effrontery. It was raw courage. And I remember Gretel Chapman chortling with glee as she explained to us that by our iconography, we are making George Washington a Greco-Egyptian sun god. My teachers took so much joy in unfolding the world and making it wider and broader and deeper. And it was Gretel Chapman also who said that it took a lifetime to figure out who you wanted to be and to be it. This was a relief for me, because I was in my 20s, and I knew I didn't have my act together. She was prophetic. It is true. I am 58. I'm still getting my act together. There's plenty of time. You've got lots and lots of time. It's good. I think Matthew Arnold got it a little bit wrong. Yes, you are leaving Goucher College, and yes, ooh, there's stuff out there that is very scary. Um, and no life lacks those essential ingredients of frustration and defeat and, and bafflement. But though it is sometimes a darkling plain where ignorant armies clash by night, the world is also beautiful and various and new, and there are surprises and delights and things to unfold and explore and get wider and broader and deeper. So have the effrontery to enjoy it. And congratulations. <laughs> 